there a chance we can see Soph? Are you kidding? Of course! <laughs> ah! Forget it, you know. My boyfriend Ernie and his best friend Louie used to sit on the front porch of the rest home all day long. And I used to get all dressed up and parade in front of them, just trying to get a rise out of Ernie. One day I decided to surprise them both. I wore absolutely nothing. Um, Louie turned to Ernie, say, what's Soap got on today? Um, I don't know, says Ernie, but it sure needs ironing. <laughs> It, you know, my boyfriend Ernie was away on retreat, searching for his inner child when I discovered I was in need of <clears throat> physical attention. So I rushed on down to the safely praised nursing home where I can still turn a head or two. Sure enough, decrepit old Mr. Cornfeld said to me, Soph, tonight's the night we have relations. Well, we had him, and we were laying in bed afterwards, basking in the afterglow. He said to me, So, if I had known you were a virgin, I would have been so much more gentle with you. And I said, well, if I had known you could still get it up, I would have taken off my pantyhose. <laughs> But you know, my boyfriend Ernie said to me, Soph, if you could learn to cook, we could fire the chef. I said, Ernie, if you could learn to fuck, we could fire the chauffeur. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed. Oh, England, England. I hear the cream clotting even as I speak. <laughs> well, you knew the colonies were going to come back and bite you on the ass someday, didn't you? <laughs> All right, ladies, prepare. One from the vault. Oh, oh. This next one is one of the biggest jokes of my career. It's notorious all around the world. People know it. You might even know it. Ready, girls? Uh -huh. Okay. I'll never forget it, you know. I was having tea one time with my girlfriend, Clementine. The doorbell rang. There was a delivery boy there with two a dozen roses. I opened the card. It said, love, from your boyfriend, Ernie. I said, Clementine, you know what this means? For the next two weeks, I'm gonna be flat on my back with my legs wide open. Clementine said to me, what's the matter with you? Ain't you got a buzz? <laughs>